I'm being smoked <laughs> standing here. This place is seriously, seriously smoky. And you can get a lot of food here for one dollar. Welcome to Brunei. I'm Luke Martin, and today I'm going to be visiting the Gadong Night Market, the one-stop shop for all your Bruneian street food needs. But first, I'm going to take you to a water village where we will be learning how to make and tasting the national dish of Brunei, Ambuya. It's gonna be a great episode, so make sure you stay tuned until the end. Let's go eat some Bruneian food. So that was just a quick boat ride to the water village. All of these houses are permanently stilted into the river. And this isn't like some kind of makeshift water village. This thing is legit. They have a police station, they have a mosque, community center, uh, stores, everything you could imagine. It's all linked between these walkways. Some of these water villages will have wooden walkways. This one we're on right now is actually a concrete walkway. And we are going to be cooking and learning how to eat ambuyat here at one of the homes in this water village. So let's go. Now, this is a perfect example of what, how an unsuccessful Ambuyat is. <laughs> so I'm here with Abu at Teratak Setiawan. It's a homestay here in the uh, water village. And we've got, well this is the raw form of the Ambuyat. This is from the Sago Palm and it's the starch. Ambulong. Ambulong, yes, okay. the raw form. This is uh, like the national dish of yes, Brunei. Right. Yeah? Yes. So we're gonna we're gonna make it. It's it's pretty simple. I mean, it's water and um, water and the starch. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately, it turns into that kind of starchy, non-Newtonian yes. fluid. While making the ambuya, there's some taboos while you're making. So the person who makes the ambuya itself cannot be disturbed simply because it needs to be focused. Sometimes it can be runny. Sometimes it can be too thick. Okay, so. We're gonna help you pour, and there's sure. just, just a tabula. So I'm not gonna stir you. Pour it slowly. Yeah, and right, stir while well, Yes, okay. just stir. And just you stir. can watch, it's almost like a experiment, science experiment. It's gonna start to change form. Okay, so we're gonna, uh, there's a certain time where it's gonna thicken a little bit. Just slowly, slowly, slowly. stir it. Okay. Yeah. No, we're not gonna, we don't wanna get hot water on you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's kind of... Okay, so it's getting there, almost. Oh, okay, yes. so get that to stirring. So... Go stir, no, stop fucking stir. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm not allowed to be distracted. Yes, stir, stir, stir. Get to the side, get to the side. Yep, yep, yep. Tough coach here. <laughs> Make sure everything's um, just, yep. yep, all thoroughly mixed. Yep, well done. Yeah. How'd I do? Yep, very nice. Very um, good. The outcome of the uh, ambuyat itself, uh, it's, as I said, translucent. Right. This is a little bit, I'm not quite sure why it's a little bit gray in color. Probably the ambulong itself. La. From mine, yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah, very you nice. Can see and this clear. is like a, yes, almost this is like the a yellow one. Color color. Yes. So the, the yellow percent and white percent made. <laughs> so I'm sitting down now with local foodie Alec, and uh, we've got tons of food to eat with our ambuyat. We've got sava leaves. Uh, this is like a chicken curry, yeah. And what did you call this one? Chacha. 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 Okay. So this is a, a must with the ambuyat. We've yeah. also got some prawns, some fish, and uh, Alec's gonna teach me how to eat the ambuyat. But uh, first off, I want to say. When you visit Brunei and you get one of these, this is not chopsticks, don't break it in half. I repeat, don't break these in half. What do you call this again? Chandas. 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 So this is specifically for eating for ambuyat. Yeah. So uh, Alex is going to give me a demonstration here how to eat it. So it's like a twist, yeah. twist motion. Alright, let me try it. So you don't hold it like chopsticks, you no. don't hold it like this, you hold it like on the, on the top side, right? Poke it. Twist it. Twist it. Yeah. Oh wow. Look at that, uh, is that yeah, good? Yeah. Look at how perfectly that holds it. That is the perfect tool for eating ambuyat. Dip it in the cha-cha. It's like a sambal. All right, let's try it. It's gonna be my first, first try. Swallow it. No chewing. No. Yeah. Whoa. 
<laughs> that has a crazy texture. It's like glue. <laughs> and the chacha is a little spicy, a little bit sweet. There's also some kind of like fruity flavor in there. Which is the binjai. Binjai, yeah, like a local, almost like a mango. Yeah. And the hambuyat has like no taste at all, but the, the texture is really, really neat. Slides right back. Wow, I've never had anything like that actually. Is it good? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try some of the other dishes here. So it's not actually like you don't eat it with the ambuyat. You kind of chase everything with the ambuyat. Got a chicken curry here, some potato. Let's try that. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Really good. Taste it with the ambuyat. This is like a totally new experience for me. I've been traveling maybe 40 countries now, and I've never had anything quite like this before. Really unique. And the cha-cha, this stuff is so good. It's where all the flavor comes from. It takes a little bit getting used to to get the just the swallowing and no chewing. I want to chew it, it's like instinct to chew. Okay, cassava leaves, a little prawn in there too. Oh, mix it with the cha-cha, oh yeah, that's a good idea. Get a little bit of this, put it right in there. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's got a little bit of heat to it too. Okay, we've got a, it's a fry, I think it's a fried and grilled fish to be honest. Grab a little bit of the meat, there's lots of bones in there. Be careful. So far? So far, really good. Yeah, what's your favorite out of all the dish? Mm. The ambuya. The ambuya itself. <laughs> and the cha-cha. And the cha-cha. Cha -cha. Look at how that just sticks onto the, what did you call these again? Chandas. Chandas. Mm. Chandas and cha-cha. Yeah, you don't want to go overboard because you might get that stuck. You only want to take a little bit. It's really good. Really, really unique. Puncture, twist. No, no, no. Uh -oh. Yeah, yeah, twist. Okay. Yeah, and then dip it in the cha cha. And swallow it? Yeah, don't chew it. I can taste the spicy of the sambal. All right, Abu, thank you so much. Thank you so for much. For my first Ambuyat experience. Yeah, it's such it a pleasure a to one. share you our national dish. <laughs> hope you enjoy it. I did, thank you so much. Hopefully we see you again soon. You're welcome, okay. yes, hopefully so. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Back from the water village and finished off with our ambuya. That was delicious. And we've come to Jamie Mosque. This is Brunei's largest mosque. And it was a gift from the people to his majesty, the Sultan. So there are 29 golden domes on this mosque. And that is because the Sultan currently is the 29th Sultan of Brunei with his bloodline going back to the 1300s. Hundreds. So this is a must-see here in Brunei. Beautiful architecture, extremely peaceful. It is absolutely massive with the palm trees, the symmetry, the golden domes. It is a perfect place for taking pictures. The Jamie Mosque, absolutely incredible. Finished off at the mosque, we've come to the Gadong Night Market or Gadong Pasar Malam. So this is the spot for all your Bruneian street food needs. It is a food fest every day of the week here at the Gadong Night Market. Smells really smoky in here. I can see all kinds of food options. We're gonna take a little walk around, see what we can find and taste some authentic Bruneian street food. Okay, this is gonna be the first stall that we try. Look at how smoky this is. They have all kinds of different cuts of different things. Lamb and chicken mostly. They have chicken butts on the grill right now. I'm gonna order one of those up and just look at how smoky this is. It's crazy. Wow, it smells incredible. And fried. All right, I've got my skewer of chicken asses here. You can see the tail, and uh, hopefully they've been cleaned well, but they've definitely been cooked thoroughly. This place is really grilling them, and then after they're grilled, they kind of put them on this top tier and let them smoke and smoke away, and it's been covered in this beautiful red sauce too. Let's try it. There's a little bone. It's mostly just the fat, the cartilage, and it doesn't have any weird flavor. Tastes just like chicken. It's not a spicy sauce though. 
It's actually a sweet sauce. And it's super, super smoky. I've had this in Taiwan before. It's nothing too weird. I mean, you shouldn't be afraid of trying it, even though, yes, it is the chicken's ass. It still tastes really good. Next up, I've got the Hati Buya, which is beef lung. Mm. It's like a sweet tamarind sauce on the outside. Super smoky. I'm being smoked <laughs> standing here. This place is seriously, seriously smoky. Actually, that's really good. It's got a chewy texture, but the sauce is just phenomenal. Look at this. Insane smoke. Okay. Just opposite the smoking grill stall, there is another saute stall serving different cuts. I ordered two different cuts. One is the uh, beef tendon. It's got one piece tendon on the top there and then one piece of meat and then also the chicken skin. And you can see it's absolutely swimming in this peanut saute sauce. They've actually just served it to me in a cup full of the saute sauce. Let me try out this uh, tendon first. Mm. Oh. That's so nice, actually. There's like little crunchy peanuts left in there, but it's a sweet peanutty sauce. Let's try the meat. Mm. Oh, the meat's tender. That sauce, though. It's all about that peanut saute sauce. Yum. All right, and the chicken skin. It looks really like not, it's not crispy chicken skin. It's it's just still uh, kind of chewy looking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's not good for your cholesterol. But damn. That sauce is incredible. And they don't go light on it. I mean, look at how much peanut sauce they put in there. That is awesome, actually. Yum. This night market is seriously cheap. The Brunei dollar is a little bit less than the US dollar. It's on par with the Canadian dollar. And you can get a lot of food here for one dollar. So our next stall is serving all kinds of different things fried. They have all kinds of unique deep fried ingredients. We ordered up two different kinds. So this is uh, potato stuffed tofu. So tofu that's been deep fried stuffed with potatoes. And then this one over here, what do you call this again? Chushur tipadak. Tipadak. So it's kind of like a chempadak or a cousin of like a jackfruit. And uh, it's fried. It is so, so hot. So I'm going to try the tofu one first. Mmm, yeah. This is tofu stuffed with mashed potatoes. Lots of spices. Mmm, a little bit salty. It's got a really unique texture. It's like a dry tofu, almost like a tofu skin on the outside, with then creamy potato on the inside. Mm. All right, hopefully this one's not too hot. This is the tiba dak. It's like I said, kind of like a jackfruit or a champu dak. There's gonna be a seed in the inside. It's hot. Wow. Mmm, yeah. Tastes like jackfruit. Almost got that kind of almost durian flavor. Creamy. It's got a unique texture when it's cooked like that. I've never had like a jackfruit deep fried like that. A little crunch on the outside. Mm, you can see the seed from the inside there. Super hot. Actually, it's quite good. Sweet, actually. Dong Night Market has all kinds of food. If you want a one-stop shop for your Brunei and street food fix, this is the place. I think it's time for dessert now. So for dessert, we're having something they call Kwe Malaya here in Brunei. I know it as Mardabak Manis or Apam Balik. Basically, it's a pancake that they lay a batter on this thin uh, kind of frying pan. And then you can order up all kinds of different toppings. If you guys know me, you know I love chocolate and cheese combination. This is uh, quite a bit different than the one in Indonesia, which has a ton of margarine. They put a lot of butter on it there. Here, it's uh, less butter. She also sprinkles some sugar on it and it's a lot thinner than the ones in Indonesia as well. So let's try out the Kuwait Malaya here in Brunei, the Gadong Night Market. 
All right, the piece de resistance, the Quay Malaya. One of my favorite things in the world. Whatever you call it, Mardabak Milis, Apam Bali, Quay Malaya, it's good. Yeah. Mm. It's just the, it's a sweet and savory combo. This is like the healthy version of Mardabak Milis because they don't slather it in butter so much. It's so good, guys. It's perfect. Something about the cheese chocolate combo. I didn't know about it until I moved to Asia that that even worked. And if you told me that when I was going to school in Canada as a kid, I would have thought you were crazy because it just sounds like the weirdest combination, but it's not. It's the best combination. What a day of eating a lot of food today. I am falling in love with this country of Brunei. Incredible people, super friendly, beautiful nature, so lush and green, and awesome food, delicious, unique cuisine like that ambuya we tried today, and everything we've tried here. I do want to be honest with you guys, this trip has been sponsored by the Brunei Tourism Board, but I have also been honest with all of my opinions here. I've had a great trip, everyone's been so friendly to us, and we just had a really good time. I feel like this is one of those undiscovered gems of Asia here on the island of Borneo, so make sure you include Brunei on your next trip across Asia. You won't be disappointed. Thank you for watching, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye.